Hello, everybody. It is me, WalkDoc21, back here again with you. And today we're doing a little bit of a different video. Um, I'll have one here in the afternoon and one tonight. And that'll be my final video for a while until I return. But uh, the next video when I return will be a history video. So you want to watch out for that. Um, but today we're going to be doing a rewind here, but not just any rewind, a NASCAR rewind back to the 19. 49 season, the original season of NASCAR racing. Um, the video later tonight will be another uh, Major League Baseball video, and then after that, we'll slowly expand. But yes, let's get right into it here. 1949, the first season of NASCAR, back then known as the Strictly Stock Series. Now, none of the drivers, if you know any of the drivers today, none of them were around, so some of these names may be familiar, some may not. Um, it was began at Charlotte Speedway, not Charlotte Motor Speedway, but Charlotte Speedway on June 19th, 1949. Um, it included eight races and two exhibitions, and it ended at North Wilkesboro Speedway, which recently came back uh, last week with the All-Star Race on October 16th. So we're just going to go through uh, some of the seasons here. We're not going to do every single race, but how this is going to work is we're going to go through the season, talk about the champions, some of the important people, um, and all of that, and then... We're going to end it. And then as we go along, I'll mention, uh, as we get into further seasons, I'll mention some more of the races, some of the new tracks that came in and all of that. But for the first season, it's just going to be basic stuff here and the manufacturers. Uh, so the, for the first race ever, June 19th, 1949, it's a show that Speedway, Bob Flock, one of the Hall of Fame moves, one of the earliest, greatest drivers, won the pole. But uh, Jim Roper, he was the uh, first winner, although he didn't initially win the race. It was Glenn Dunaway. But NASCAR later disqualified him for failing post-race. And Lincoln, yes, Lincoln back now. Remember, back then there was no Chevrolet, Ford, or Toyota, or Dodge. So they're not around right now. So do not worry about them. They're not around yet. They don't come in until later. So Lincoln, the first ever manufacturer to win a race. So then the second race here on the Daytona Beach Road Course, not Daytona International Speedway. Okay, Daytona International Speedway hasn't come in until 1959. So 10 years of the road course. Red Byron, keep that name in mind. We will be seeing him a lot more as we go on. Red Byron won the race, uh, driving an Oldsmobile here. Yes, Oldsmobile, kind of like the Offenheiser engine in IndyCar. Oldsmobile used to dominate uh, the sport. And then uh, Okaniki Speedway is August 7th, 1949. Uh, Bob Flock swept, uh, swept everything, full position, most laps led, and he won here. So his first win uh, in an Oldsmobile then September 11th, 1949, and obviously we all know what happened on September 11th, but that hasn't happened yet. At Langhorn Speedway, uh, Red Byron won the pole, but Curtis Toto got his first win in an Oldsmobile, so three straight wins for Oldsmobile. Um, and then we have Hamburg Speedway, not Hamburg, Germany, but Hamburg Speedway, which is located in, or was located in, um, Erie County, New York. It's the Erie County Fairgrounds now, and... Jack White and his Lincoln, so second win for Lincoln, uh, won the race here. And Glenn Dunaway, the guy who got disqualified, ended up uh, taking the full position in the most laps led on September 25th at Martinsville. Yes, Martinsville Speedway. That track has been around since NASCAR's inaugural founding, one of the only few tracks that has raced every single year since NASCAR was founded. Uh, Curtis Tudor won the pole, but Red Byron again. Good guy. Who won the race at his Oldsmobile. Um... On October 2nd, 1949, Heidelberg race, right? Not Heidelberg, Germany. This is in a Heidelberg, in, uh, Heidelberg, Pennsylvania, in Scott Township. Uh, Al Bonner, I don't know who that is, won the pole position, but uh, Lee Petty ended up winning the race in his Plymouth. Now, who's Lee Petty? Well, he's Richard Petty's um, father. So, yes, the Petty dynasty, even from the early years of NASCAR, was dominant. And then Wilkes 200, October 16th. 1949, North Wilkesboro Speedway. Bob Flock won it in his Oldsmobile, and Kenneth Wagner was on the pole. Who? Kenneth Wagner. Who's that? I don't know. But, um, yeah, they only had eight races that year because there was no guarantees NASCAR was going to be successful. And a lot of the races won the South because it was more of a Southern sport. This is before the big um, TV deals came in with ESPN, Fox, TNT, NBC, and all that. So they were not around yet. They weren't on TV. And top ten in the points that year – were read by when he was the first ever champion. He had 842.5 points. Lee Petty in second. So even back then, the Petty dynasty was going strong. 
finished second, 725. Bob Flock and third, 704. Bill Blair with 567.5 points. Fonty Flock, so yes, Bob Flock and Fo so yes, so the Flock, so here, uh, Fonty Flock with 554.5. Curtis Turner in sixth place with 430. And you notice here that Red Byron is the champion, missed two races, missed Heidelberg and Hamburg. Guess he didn't want to race now. <laughs> Heidelberg and Hamburg in Germany. I guess Brett Byron was off in Germany probably racing back then. Um, Ray Erickson, who ran the final four races, missed the first four, ended up in second place. I don't know how that's possible. Um, another flock, Tim Flock, was eighth with 421 points, so he was one behind Erickson. Uh, Glenn Dunaway, yes, the guy who got disqualified, finished 33rd. His first ever race, the NASCAR ran, finished ninth with 384 points. And then Frank Mundy, uh, 370 points in 10th and only ran four races. Some of the other names you'll see, Bill Rexford, who's here. Um, Buck Baker, keep that name in mind for later on. Marshall T, keep that name in mind. Jim Paschal, uh, keep him, keep his name in mind. Jim Rathman, who would eventually go on to win the Indianapolis 500 mile race, which we will cover one day. I do plan to do a history of the Indianapolis 500 mile race uh, someday as well. And Jim Rathman was the winner of that in 1960. So one day when we do cover the Indianapolis 500, which is this weekend, by the way, uh, go ahead and watch it. He will be featured on there. So that is the very first season of NASCAR, and those were the top 10. Now, there was 77 drivers who scored, and the rest of them didn't get points. Uh, names like Pat Cookwood, Fred Johnson, Walter Campbell, uh, Buckshot Morris, uh, Jimmy Llewellyn. Tommy Coates was the last one who got a half a point. So, good job, Tommy Coates. You were the first last-place finisher in NASCAR history. And I showed some of the results here. We're not going to go through all of them, but... Yeah, that's 1949 Strictly Stock, and the next season will be 1950. So with more races, 19 in total. So y'all take care for now, and I'll see you in the next review later tonight. Be sure to subscribe to Walk Talk 21 for more great videos coming soon. Thank you.